Hello and what is up guys, Vito here, back at it again, you feel me? It's been a minute, you feel me? It's been a minute, you feel me? But today we have a lot to talk about, so, but before we get started into the actual vid, I just want to show you guys real quick, 30, 40 second video of this, you know, video that I shot for my job. So just wanted to, I just love the way that it just came out. And you know, it's the same location as I shot Liz and Ash that I'll be showing you the BTS of today. So. But yeah, once again, I just love the way it came out and I just wanted to share that video with you guys. And then after that, we'll start on the actual vid itself. But yeah, let's just tune into that. Let's tune into that. Let's tune into that. inside indoors it's a vintage rug store um, slash you know creative space so I decided to actually rent it out for like you know two two and a half hours so but yeah today we're doing one day two shoots so um, yeah I didn't plan it to be this way once again in my last video as I said I was trying to kind of like take it easy on like doing things a lot you feel me but it just happened to be this way. I'll explain everything, but this video is gonna be part one. I'm gonna have a part two video dealing with the second location and you know the second shoot. It's entirely two different shoots. So, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy the photos of yeah these two models that I'm going to be shooting at this vintage rug store. So yeah, let's just get started. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little Birkenstock video that I shot for my job, DTLR. But yeah, today I wanted to do something different. Usually when I'm shooting indoors, I usually just like to throw an instrumental on and you know, you guys just watch me shoot. And then once me shooting all the photos is done, I'll just, you know, talk at the very end. But yeah, today I just wanted to do a voiceover. Minimal chaos. That was actually my third time actually there the second time i was there was when i shot with liz and ash so and the very first time was actually like maybe like a few weeks ago all the information dealing with that location i'll definitely link below because yeah i've never actually seen a place like this in, in in the city of philly and this is not only like a creative space there's a website you can actually buy the rugs the rugs are pretty expensive i've seen like three four thousand dollar rugs and i think they're persian or european one of the two so yeah dealing with ash and liz's fit i definitely recommended it days in advance i did show them a photo of where we would be shooting at so they can you know kind of just get a sense of where they would be shooting at but i also recommended them to have some type of relaxed fit because dealing with the location you know you see the plants you see the comfy couch obviously the rugs uh the pillows on the comfy couch just everything about that location just screamed relaxation. You feel me? So their fits definitely had to be on that type of time. Nothing too extravagant. Now, one day, two shoots. The reason why I actually called it that was I was actually supposed to shoot this whole uh, photo shoot. I was actually supposed to shoot it on Saturday. I went to go book it on Pier Space, and this is the first Saturday of March. I actually went to go book it and I couldn't book it on that Saturday. So I ended up just booking it on Sunday, which was dealing with this other shoot I had with a good friend of mine. So, but that shoot that I already planned with my friend, that shoot is going to be the photos. I basically am going to pick one photo so I can actually present it 
at this pop-up that is going to happen literally in a few days uh this coming saturday so but that's gonna be that whole other photo shoot with my friend that's gonna be part two of the one day two shoots you feel me but yeah those photos i already done scanned them and i edited them already those photos are they came out great you feel me but yeah the one with liz and ash these photos i basically saw the location on pier space and i was like i have to shoot here and now i'm just trying to figure out well at the time i was just trying to figure out who i could talk to to actually model for me dealing with this location and it was liz and then the funniest thing i was on instagram looking through my stories then i came across ashley's story and i seen she had the same like kind of color of hair and you know curls just like liz and i was just like you know what I, let me hit her up see if she would be down to actually do you know two models dealing with a photo shoot and i've actually been doing them a lot actually dealing with you know working with two models i've actually been doing that a lot this year so but being that they both had the same hairstyle and the same color you feel me i was i definitely hit up ashley then you know i talked to liz about it and she was like yes i'm down so that's how that whole thing just became to be the whole photo shoot was definitely just a vibe and once again like i was literally going to shoot one model and then i came across ashley's you know story i basically seen her hair and I, I just basically hit her up so one model became two models it's pretty ironic right like i was dealing with the other video i was preaching heavy about taking it easy resting this and that but here i am doing two photo shoots in one day you feel me and just to clarify too it was that first sunday of the month which i actually did the two photo shoots um in march which we are in right now but yeah i guess i get a free you know a free pass on things because like this was kind of an inevitable type of thing because i could have pushed ash and liz photo shoot till like next weekend but these two shoots were like kind of really important because i was still contemplating at the time as to like what photos i should actually show at this pop-up i will be a part of this saturday and sunday but i ended up just basically picking one photo dealing with one photo shoot and that's going to be the shoot that you guys are going to see dealing with part two loved liz and ash's photos so it was in nothing of liking it or not loved it you feel me but once again it was just me just having a variety of photo shoots thank you guys so much for just tuning into this video and just watching it um this place it's different you feel me i've never actually been to a creative space where i can use the vintage rugs as backdrops i can even buy them if i wanted to i can pose the models with them i may be wrong but this was my very first time actually being in a creative space like this uh, especially here in philly but yeah once again i'll link everything that i can which is literally everything that i know i will link everything in the description below and hopefully you guys enjoyed the photos and also the polaroids that i had taken you know i'm doing something I'm doing something with the Polaroid, you feel me? Hint, hint. But make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. You know, any questions at all. I'm not Hollywood. I will definitely answer them to the best of my abilities when it comes to just, you know, film. So, but yeah, this is Vito. Once again, signing off. I'm going to catch you guys later.